Hey you guys, Hens here. We're back again for Lance Dungeon. This time around level 3. And finally we're gonna go uh, full crit team here, uh, double zebra. I'm gonna use my uh, breaker zebra equipped with death axe. The reason why I don't have havoc axe on him is because I have it on Lilith. Because I feel like you want her to do the damage, not really zebra. He's just there for his leader skill. Um, and then Michelle. Self-explanatory. Zephyr is there uh, just for the uh, defense ignore buff. I know he's level one and stuff, but doesn't matter. I just need his uh, brave burst. And then Lilith, for obvious reasons, he she's not fully leveled yet. I didn't get to work on her, but still powerful enough. And then Dual GX, which is stable. You definitely need this on a crit team. Anyways, um, hopefully everything goes smoothly and we wouldn't have to gem. Cause, uh, like Vargas RNG uh, got to us and it cost me two gems. So hopefully it doesn't happen here. Uh, I actually uh, made sure I had a Zebra Fen uh, on the go. So before I start recording, I refreshed the game so many times making sure I got a Zebra Fen pop up. Uh, just, just so we don't have to go through it during the recording. And we have uh, this good friend here with a Guardian Zebra, but doesn't matter, have a uh, Havoc Max on it, so that's perfect. And this is the items I'm running Air's Flute, definitely a must. Fujin's must. And then um, since we're going all out, we don't want to like think in a certain way, like, oh, what if so-and-so dies, I'll have to revive her, or what if uh, we don't kill them one hit, then we have to like cure them, uh, recover their health. Yeah, we can't think like that. This is an all-out team, so we're gonna think like that. It's like, we have to go for the big damage. Hoping um, that we're gonna end it in one turn. So, yeah. So, without further ado, let's start this dungeon. So first round here, we have 4 enemies, which is perfect, but it could also be troublesome because that means, you know, the more enemies, the more chances someone's going to survive, and that'll just mess everything up. So first, we'll definitely pop a flute, there's only 3 rounds, so use it. Um, definitely fusion, but we had to decide carefully on who to give it to. So let's go with the must-haves first. Definitely. SGX for the crit, Michelle for the fire, and the uh, attack buff. And then I would say... Um, Zephyr? So we ignore the defense. And that should be good enough for now. Hopefully. And we have so many Dark Wars so we can use that. Alright, here we go. See, this is where it gets dangerous. As you can see, that we have uh, two enemies remaining, and that could really put a dent in our strategy. We want to make sure we can kill them. Um, we don't want any deaths this round, so. We're just gonna break us with everyone um, who can actually attack and hope for the best. So Zebra, I guess Zephyr. Okay, maybe not because we need a uh, burst up. So maybe Zebra and Lilith and everyone just normal attack. Yeah, that should be good. Hopefully this will end it. go. Mm, 
Alright, Zebra's almost filled, but should be fine. We shouldn't need him. And this round, same thing, Papa Fruit, which is a must. Dark War. And then... Tree must be annoying, so we want to end it quick. We can use four brute elixirs right now. Just gonna make sure we give it to the right people. Not SGX, because we're gonna brave burst with him, so his attack won't hit much. So there's no point. And then Michelle, she could crit, but still. Um. Okay, well then we'll just ignore SGX and uh, the zebra that's not filled, and give. Um, Elixir to uh, everyone else. So Michelle, Zephyr, Dilith, and Zebra. And let's hope for the best. Perfect. One turn kill. Exactly what we needed. Uh, we don't have uh, all of them filled. So this could be a problem. Anyways, uh, pop a flute. Because you definitely need it. Dark Horror, this is where everyone gets the Alexia. Going all out. We definitely need SGX and Michelle's buff, so. There you go, there you go. And Zephyr, I guess we won't need the Gnar Defense yet. Hopefully we can end it in one turn. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. We'll definitely need the crit more than the fire buff, that's for sure. So, dual XGX goes first. So close. This is where everyone dies, I think. Yeah. Oh, that sucks. It's mostly due to RNG because I didn't see that many uh, crits done. But one gem is better than, you know, three or two, so I think it's worth it because I think we can uh, definitely end it here. So, one gem. Just to be safe. And there you go. Lance Dungeon is definitely the second easiest, aside from Selena's. Um, partially because he doesn't resurrect just like Vargas does. And you just end it right away. But fortunately for us, we couldn't end in one turn because of, you know, lack of crits. But nonetheless, we did a pretty good job. One gem. And we get three packs, so that's a profit of two. So it's pretty much worth it. Uh, hopefully you guys uh, have better luck with crits. And uh, hopefully RNG is on your side. And yeah. Make sure to let me know in the comments on uh, how you guys all did. Uh, I would like to know. And yeah, thanks for watching. Make sure to stay tuned for more uh, new content. I'm pretty sure there's a lot more stuff coming our way around the corner. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. See you guys next time.